It's a jar, but I call this project Message in a Bottle. It's a crystal radio, the most simple schematic. A germanium diode, and across the germanium diode, a headphone. That's it. Connection for the antenna and to the ground. Opening it up, the germanium diode is here and across the diode the connection to the headphone. So the diode is connected to the hot or positive or center pin of the connector and going out to the ground and across that the earphone. I used an SMA connector just because that uh, has imposed itself as standard in my lab and these are the this is for the jack from the earpiece or from the headphone. Uh, that's it and that is what I am going to put to the test today and compare it to the state of the art um, in a moment. This is the setup. An antenna for the crystal radio. The crystal radio, a ceramic earpiece, a headset with uh, speakers that are uh, high impedance, 2000 ohms. Uh, the earpiece would be around 1000 ohm. And uh, a radio, a transmitter. This is a low power AM transmitter and right now it is transmitting on uh, medium waves uh, in AM in the uh, medium wave ham radio band. And this is a phone with a file playing a recording uh, of a message in loop that is being transmitted uh, by the radio. So why the whole Ramba Zamba? Uh, the reason is that I live far away from a uh, AM uh, broadcast band uh, station. So that would mean for me 350 to some 500 kilometers away. No chance for me to receive anything uh, indoors. So uh, I'm using a small radio. It's uh, transmitting on uh, uh, roughly 1.1800 1, uh, kilohertz and that is uh, uh, in the ham radio band that I'm allowed to use to transmit, experiment and test in, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So, the antenna goes on the crystal set or crystal radio, well, it's not much more than just a diode, and on it goes. I will start with the earpiece, which is all knotted up, of course, because uh, it knows that I'm recording a video, so it would do it. There you go. So this one is going now in my ear, and I am not hearing anything. So I test and try and bring the antennas closer together. And in fact, I am beginning to hear a faint something, but not satisfactory. So here is the trick. I add capacitance and ground with my body through my finger, touching the lid, which is the ground of my connection. And I'm hearing something, um, not really something discernible, completely satisfactory, no, not at all. But I am hearing something. So changing then the earpiece for the headphones, off goes the earpiece, on goes the headphone with 2000 ohm impedance. There we go. And not hearing much or anything at all, but when bringing the antennas close together, I'm already hearing something and that's it. Now that's satisfactory. I can hear the message, the recording coming from the phone being transmitted by the radio. 
when touching the lid. So that's actually quite impressive. This is a very low power transmission and uh, taken everything in consideration, especially the fact that there is not much inside this jar apart from the diode, which is doing its work very well. Um, quite happy with the result. Um, is this practical? No, but it is working in this test environment. Of course, one would wish to hear the audio from the speakers of the headset directly. Uh, I can only approximate that in this video. Uh, I can do uh, one of two things, and one is to bring the microphone of the headset that I am using to record this video and place that next to the speaker of the headset, which is connected to the crystal radio. The other thing I may do later is uh, uh, use an amplifier and pass the audio output from the crystal radio through an amplifier and then to a speaker just for the sake of demonstration. That would of course defeat the principle of the crystal radio uh, by introducing a powered device, but uh, if it helps, uh, why not? So uh, off goes now my headset with its microphone, which I will place as close as possible to the speaker of the headset connected to the crystal radio. on the crystal radio in the medium wave band from a QRP low power radio testing the reception on a crystal radio. This is DO1BAB testing. So back goes the uh, headset and microphone back on my head around my ears and I really hope that uh, uh, the audio was high enough and that it could be recorded and heard and shared. Just because it's difficult to convey the sound level coming from the crystal radio, I hooked up an amplifier, so the sound from the crystal radio is going to the amplifier, uh, is being amplified, and a speaker is uh, attached to the amplifier and I think that uh, this uh, helps demonstrate that the crystal radio is working and gives uh, uh, an idea of uh, how high or low the volume is uh, when using a crystal radio without uh, any power. So I will um, put uh, place that antenna closer to the uh, antenna of the transmitter and uh, in fairness, I will also have to place the microphone uh, from the headset that I'm using to uh, record this video closer to the speaker. And I think that uh, would make a good demonstration. So I will do that now. So I think that, uh, I really, I believe that's enough to prove that the crystal radio is functioning and uh, that uh, the uh, audio can be heard from the crystal radio. Uh, it also showed that the distance from the uh, between the antennas can be uh, greater than uh, uh, while using the um, high impedance headsets. Uh, proving that uh, this is real radio transmission, transmission from the uh, AM radio and reception by the 
a crystal radio with the diode uh, doing its uh, its job there. That's it for the crystal radio reception. Uh, if you'd like to stay a little longer, what I will do now is uh, compare the reception of the same radio signal that uh, the crystal radio was receiving from the small uh, AM transmitter and see how that is being received, the very same signal, how that is being received by more modern technology, in fact the most modern technology, the state of the art. So it's nice to compare uh, and have them sit next to one another, the granddad or grandmother of uh, the radio reception here on the left, the crystal radio uh, part of uh, how it all began, and uh, the state of the art, the software defined radio, uh, which is done uh, mostly in a PC, in a program on the PC, but not entirely. Of course, there has to be some analog to digital conversion, which is uh, exactly what is being done uh, outside in this little box, outside of the PC in this little box. And uh, a little bit of amplification and, and the antennas, of course. So that is uh, what I can show next, is uh, the reception of the same signal that uh, has been received uh, with the crystal radio, how that is being received uh, via uh, SDR. This is DO1BAB testing on a crystal radio, the reception from a QRP low power transmitter in AM. The idea here is to test the reception on the crystal radio in the medium wave band from a QRP low power radio testing the reception on a crystal radio. That's it for the comparison between how uh, the signal uh, from the very small low power uh, AM transmitter uh, is uh, being received here in my shack through the SDR radio with respect to how it is uh, being uh, heard uh, through crystal radio, received uh, through crystal radio and heard uh, with uh, high impedance headphones.